As we take a step into the latter half of the week, note that our Thursday and Friday are the final days of May, and we have seen a little bit of a hiccup that occurred through the middle of the week, as from the beginning of the week, temperatures were steadily warming, but then thunderstorm chances did shut down that warmth. We even saw several areas climb into the 80s before those storms were sweeping through. Now, storms are departing, but there is some lingering activity as we're underneath a little bit of a pattern that is what we consider a little bit more west to east orientation meaning a lot of different little spots of so some thunderstorm chances will be lasting as we head throughout the weekend. So we're going to stay wary of some spotty little areas. But what we're noting is that with this fast moving pattern, there are very weak chances. So we're not going to be detailing any big threats like we had for our Wednesday evening, but staying wary, especially as this is going to be some nice weather to get out and enjoy as we will be working quickly back into sunshine here for our Thursday. And with that, we will be back under a warming trend that will allow for us to even head back towards those a after feeling some of that warmth for our Wednesday. And then we will see after lingering some storm chances through the weekend, our first full week of June next week could trend on the drier side, holding on to that warm sunshine. So here as we step into our Thursday, temperatures have pulled back after that warming trend. Still near normal as an average high sits at about 70 degrees, and we're looking at forecasted to hit 70 degrees. But what we're noting is that there's going to be a touch of a cooler feel to the sky. Our conditions, even with a clear sky, is what we have in place is that northwesterly wind. That northwesterly wind, even a little gusty, we're noting some at least 20 to 25 mile per hour gusts pushing in there out of the northwest nearly all day. And we have the entire area dealing with that wind pushing in. Everyone are noting at least a 20 to 25, even some isolated 40 mile per hour gusts as that wind pushes in from the northwest. But we also watch out of our west southwest that southerly wind is going to be back in place, which is going to help to turn those temperatures around. It's going to be very gradual to see that change as we'll note that our Thursday to Friday temperatures aren't going to change too much. We will also note on the map you'll see a few little spotty showers between Thursday and Friday possible, especially there across that Wyoming and Nebraska borders. There is a little weak system that tries to fire up a few showers and even maybe a few rumbles of thunder. So we'll be watching that thread. But again, these systems are very weak overall, should be fairly fast moving as well. So if there are some showers that develop, they should be moving on and some filtered sunshine will be within the mix. Into our Saturday, we start to see temperatures trend upwards. We get more of those 70s to even those 80s already across the Nebraska Panhandle back in place, even 80 up through Douglas. Or again, largely some sunshine here, but we'll watch a little bit of a wave come off of more of our Rocky Range firing up some of those storms there along I-80, including areas of Cheyenne. And then we keep that threat potentially around for Sunday. But by Sunday, that drier and warmer environment is going to continue to lift in, and we'll hold on to that for next week.